The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, dear friends, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Bishop. We have a very beautiful gospel which speaks about the, the, what awaits missionaries or those who believe. And Matthew tells us, be wise as serpents, but gentle like doves. Ano yun? Become like, you are, I send you like, like sheep among wolves, Jesus says. So therefore, be wise as serpents, but gentle as doves. And when they persecute you, do not worry. The Lord will provide the, the wisdom that you need. And when you persecute in one town, you go to the next. Don't worry. You go, to, go elsewhere. Okay. You will even be exiled. Well, this gospel proclamation is particularly, should be particularly dear to the parish of Paco and uh, our own parish here, our own Maria Goretti. And I will ask you this question. Who was the first candidate promoted by the Philippine Church for sainthood? Sino ang unang saint na gusto ng Pilipinas noon? Any volunteer? Who would say? Sino? Unang santo na Pilipino? Lorenzo Ruiz? No. <laughs> ang pinakauna na prinomote ng Church of the Philippines na maging santo sana ay si Justo Takayama Ukon. Whose statue is in Plaza de Lao. Okay. And uh, Kusto Okun Takayama was a Japanese, of course, and he was the ma a martyr of Christ in 1615. He was a samurai, he was a nobleman, and yet. He did not, when, when, the, when the, uh, there was persecution of the Christians in Japan, he did not give up his faith and so was exiled to the Philippines. And he came to Intramuros, uh, the, um, a Catholic layman who was considered a pillar of the early church of Japan 
died in Intramuros, Manila, February 3, 1615, only 44 days after he was exiled to Manila for refusing to abjure his Catholic faith. In 1630, a petition was presented to the Vatican by the Archdiocese of Manila, 1630, for Takayama's beatification. His cause was revived at the Vatican only in 1963, with the Japanese bishops in charge. The Takayama process was crowned with beatification in Osaka in 2017, Dumalupadona or was it uh, Cardinal Tagli himself who officiated the canonization, uh, the beatification. And his statue is in Plaza de Lao, because Plaza de Lao in the area was a place where many of the exiles lived, the Japanese Christians lived. Kaya, if we could actually claim that one of the saints of the Philippines is Husto Takayama of the parish of Saint Maria Goretti. Sako mo ba yun? Hindi. Ay hindi. But in Papo, it's very near, no? Very near us. And we'd like to, uh, to refer to him because our gospel today speaks about the challenge. Ikaw ba kapatid, you're willing to lose everything except your faith? Kung ang pagiging Catholic or Christian would mean the loss of property or life itself, will you remain Catholic? Pag ang tinuturo ng simbahan in particular is no longer popular or acceptable to the world, Will you abandon the, will you abandon your faith? We are in the world, we are like sheep among wolves, and the world likes to gang up on our Christian faith and dilute or counter or destroy our Catholic faith. We should be wise as serpents to give up everything, be willing to make a sacrifice of our temporal goods and properties, but not of our spiritual truths, of our spiritual principles. That was Takayama. He could easily have been a great emperor of Japan, but he would not give up his faith and was willing to be exiled. A few last month only, there was, of course, St. Thomas More, who was the second in command in uh, England at the time of Henry VIII. But Henry VIII wanted a divorce. And his chancellor, St. Thomas More, said to the king, No, emperor, king, king Henry, it is not allowed by the church. And uh, King Henry wanted uh, Thomas More to lobby the Vatican to grant him a divorce. Otherwise, he would be persecuted. He would lose his head. In the end, Thomas More also said, You are Lord my King. You are, I am a loyal servant of the King, but I am God's first. And he lost his head. He was willing to give up position, power, but he was not willing to give up his faith. In defense of the faith, he was a wise serpent, but he was also a gentle dove. Because even under persecution, he, Thomas More did not hate anybody, even the king. He even prayed for the king. He even prayed for the one who was going to behead him jokingly telling the persecutor, the, uh, uh, please spare my beard because wala mang kasalanan itong aking beard, sabi niya, just to choke the executioner. It means that in our lives, dear brothers and sisters, we will be sometimes in confrontation with the world with its different values. We will stand firm by what we believe, even if we suffer, 
And yet at the same time, because we believe, we will still pray for even for our enemies, even for those who persecute us. Because part of our faith includes love your enemies. Love those who persecute you. May we leave this gospel then today following the example of Blessed Justo Takayama of Paco, of St. Thomas More, and many other saints. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Again, from my closing remarks, well, you know, incidentally, it's very nice we have uh, uh, to speak about Dom uh, Justo Takayama Ukon, who was a samurai, who was a nobility, who was part of the imperial government of Japan in those days. But he was Catholic, and he did not compromise his Catholic faith in favor of his political career. Perhaps we might pray for also our politicians that they may not compromise or sell their birthright, their Catholic faith. Justo Takayama, oh, please pray. We are looking for a miracle for your canonization. Baka sakali, pag may conversion na ganyan, who knows, you can become a saint. If you want to visit, he has, uh, it used to be his monument is na, na tabunan na ng skyway. Uh, but that is Tuukun Takayama of Paco. Second, the CBCP has, was, we just, the bishops of the Philippines concluded their plenary assembly only last Monday. And uh, kalalabas lang yung, there's a, a statement of the CBCP on the issue of divorce. So, yun po ang magiging assignment natin. As soon as the uh, Archdiocese will release, or baka mababasa niyo na sa dyaryo, the, the Church in the Philippines is, is answering or giving guidance to us all what is most important is the, a nation is a, a nation is as strong as its family. You destroy the family, you destroy the nation. And you you read the statement of the church. We we do understand the difficulties sometimes of married couples, but is divorce the solution? We know for statistically, almost 50% of countries where there is a divorce, 50% of marriages end up in divorce. Do we want that to happen to our country? That is our question. Do we want our future children to live with broken families? Son of Lord, wag naman. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass has been offered. Thanks be to God. <laughs>